In today's video, I'll be showing you how to test and replace a circuit breaker. You can see here on this circuit breaker, it is in the trip position. Obviously, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn it off and try to reset it. Now, you can see this one's really hard, which indicates to me that it's already having issues internally. So here, I'll turn it to the off position. You can see as soon as I turn it on, it trips right away. Sometimes you'll do this multiple times and what will happen is it will continue to trip. There's many reasons why a breaker will trip. It could be due to a short, uh, some type of issue as far as over amping. But here you can see I put it to the on position. Here, What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to test your circuit breaker. I want to show you what the reading is if it's in the on position you should have voltage coming in at the circuit breaker when you take your reading with your multimeter. Here I have my leads on the bottom breaker. This is the good breaker. You can see I'm at 120 volts. The only time I shouldn't have any voltage is when the circuit breaker is bad or if I de-energize it by turning it to the off position. Here I put the breaker in the off position and you can see I do not have a voltage reading. I turned it back on and you can see I have 120 volts. Now as I said, this breaker is in the on position and when I take my reading, I do not have any incoming voltage. This indicates to me that the circuit breaker itself is bad. At this point, we are going to have to replace our circuit breaker. Turn the breaker to the off position. If you're not comfortable replacing your circuit breaker with the panel energized, go ahead and find the main circuit breaker to your panel and turn it to the off position. And if you turn all of your breakers off to the off position, your panel is still energized by your incoming voltage wires. These voltage wires are going to be 240 volts. So here I'm going to turn all of my breakers to the off position. You can see here that I still have voltage coming in. That's 240 volts. This is the actual panel. This is my main breaker to the whole unit. And here I turned it to the off position. So here you can see that I do not have any incoming voltage. Point, we're gonna remove the breaker. Loosen your fastening screw and then remove the wire. This is our replacement breaker. Again, make sure you put it in the off position. When you're putting your breaker back on, you can see here, there's just a little groove right there. There's a little, kind of like a little nipple that sticks out. You're basically gonna sit your breaker on that and then you're gonna slide it back. I'm gonna turn our main breaker back on. We're going to turn our breakers back to the on position. So here, this is our replacement breaker. And you can see we do have the proper voltage necessary. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.